start off, I'm taking a piece of paper and folding that in half. Then I'll round out the corners using some scissors. I'm going to use a technique called quilling. So the paper that I'm using is called quilling paper. It just comes in strips, but you can take any piece of paper and just cut it into some strips depending on what size you want. Just some types of paper work better than others. Now I'm going to take my slotted quilling tool and I'm going to slide the end of the paper in. Then with my right hand, I'll roll it outwards. And with my left hand, I'll hold on to it. So it's really easy. This tool is mainly for beginners. The center of it is a little bit more messy compared to the other tool, which is called a needle quilling tool. Here you can see that sort of crimp upwards and it's bigger as opposed to a needle quilling tool which leaves a really nice center and you don't really know where it starts and where it ends. Now this is more similar to a needle quilling tool and basically you would have to bend the paper inwards and it's a little tough at the beginning but once you get it rolling it should be fine. Now if you don't have either of those tools you can use a toothpick or really anything that will help you roll a piece of paper. So now I'll go back to my slotted quilling tool and I'm going to roll just like I showed you guys before. I'm going all the way. I'm using a piece of paper that's 27 and a half in length and half a centimeter in width. So once we get to the end here, we're going to make sure that we have everything nicely secured. We're going to slide that off. And some people have sort of shapes where they let the circle expand. And here I accidentally let go of it and you can see how it expands by itself. I'm going to pull it a little bit put some glue on the end and just press that together to get my shape. Now taking another piece of paper, it's the same width as before but it's only 12 centimeters in length and this time I'm not going to let it expand as much as the other one. So I'm going to place some glue and immediately just seal that in. Now if you want to change your mind later on while the glue is still sort of drying you can. Like here, I just opened it up a little bit and closed it back. So once the glue is dry, what you're going to do is start to shape it. So I'm just going to put my finger on the bottom and pinching the very top. It's going to look like a teardrop at first and then you're going to press it down into a triangle. And then I'm going to dent the bottom so it turns into a heart shape. There I just showed you how to make a teardrop, a triangle, and a heart shape. It's super easy to make different shapes and that's the whole point of quilling. You just make things out of a bunch of different shapes that are really simple once you get to learn the techniques. And I'm going to pinch the bottom of the balloon a little bit. So now I made different colors and sizes of balloons and I just glued both pieces together to make it a little bit easier to show you guys. And I'm just going to be placing them along the right side. And the way I glued it was just taking the piece, holding it with my two fingers and placing the glue on top and then placing that on top of the card. Of course you can place the glue directly on the card and place it on top but I usually change my mind midway through everything so I thought it might be easier <laughs> just in case I changed my mind just to glue it on top of the balloon. Now taking some mini gel pens I'm going to make the little squiggly lines for the string of the balloons. Now halfway through I made a design and then I didn't like it so I ended up cutting a rectangle on the card. Then taking my gel pen again I just went around making some lines to look like stitchings. And then I wrote happy birthday with the different colors of the balloons. And then for the inside I just made a couple of more stitch lines with the same color on the side. And I wrote my message inside that little box. Now you guys don't have to do something as simple as me and you can use better sort of papers and you can use some ribbons or stamps or glitter, anything that you guys want to use and add to this card, you can go ahead and do that. This is just what I had on hand and I just decided to do something really quick, simple and easy. I am planning on making a video specifically for quilling and showing you guys how to make the different shapes just so you guys can have a basic sort of introduction to quilling and the shapes that you can make out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so sorry I haven't made a video in a while. It's been really busy lately. But I hope you guys are enjoying the new year. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.